You really also bad. missed a very funny Dave story. Did I? <laughs> yeah, about how he puked at a bar because some guy challenged him to a fight and they started belly punching each other. <laughs> <laughs> That's my guy. That's why I love him. I was on an empty stomach. <laughs> We're leaving that in. We're leaving that in. All right, Bang Bang. Today is Monday. It's August 23rd. Welcome to the Dog Walk presented by Barstool Sports. Is that okay if we leave that in? I don't care. All right. Um, all right. Dana B. joins the draft room once again. Uh, um, Dana, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing well, man. I'm happy to be back. Uh, my first time, I think I got a little bit of a, a tough draw because I only drink light beers, and I had all these craft beers thrown at me in these different selections. So it was a poor performance, but I think I'm ready to Did, come correct, back. He tried summer. to draft C no, Sam Adams. He as tried a craft to, beer exactly. <laughs> yeah, he tried. Yeah, but like that's the thing. I don't. I don't know what craft beers are, so it was a tough showing. But uh, this is more in my wheelhouse, I would say, in terms of something I'm prepared for. Yeah, so today is the official back-to-school school draft. Five categories. Uh, lunch item, recess game, the best day of school, a field trip, and a miscellaneous. So, so. school, because it's like back-to-school, a lot of everybody's going back to college now. Mm -hmm. High school is going to be opening up. But for purposes of this, this is more like childhood nostalgia. That's how I'm going at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So like food <laughs> item, if someone comes back to like, Yo, the dorm chicken tenders. No, this is like this is like uh, K through eight. Thank yes. you. The way I thought it. Correct. You guys thought of that the same way? Yeah. 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 Okay. Good. Yep. Good. We're all on the same page so you, for once. So you mix supplies, right? Yeah, we nix supplies. Correct. Correct. I just like we thought about supplies, but then hearing Dave argue about the ballpoint pen versus Dixon Ticonderoga pencil, I just don't know where we would get. I mean, that no. would have been number one on my big board. What would have been? I would do Dixon a Ticonderoga yeah. number two. Dude, it's, I had a teacher who was very diehard about the Dixon Ticonderoga. It's the only pencil. It is. It is the best pencil. It is. Most no, durable, I like best a, a big mechanical pencil. That's that's Trumps. like a uh, like a Jaguar car where it just like it looks nice, but it never works. Now, see, I like it, though. I feel like that's why you get 10 comparison. of them in a bag. Are Jags bad? I know they used to be bad. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that was like a, a thing my grandpa used to say all the time. Like, yeah, you need one in the shop and then one for your garage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good comparison, though. But yeah, the Dixon Ticonderoga, man. Shout out to that. Sorry, right off the top <laughs> of the show. <laughs> Were you a Dr. Grip guy? Or should oh, we save this for up? the? Yeah, should we save this for the actual school? Because then the <laughs> PhD pen came around. That was a that was a big battle for school supplies. Yeah, I mean, listen. Technically, you could take one of these as your miscellaneous, but you know that's up to you. Um, but however, it is funny that you bring up beer because last time we talked about beer, and there has been a big development since then because you used to drink a bad beer and now you drink a good beer. Is that right, Dana B? Listen, let me tell you, Eddie Miller Lite. It was like. I walked into the gates of heaven and I saw Jesus Christ and I saw God and I, and the world <laughs> opened up to me. Miller Lite, I was a Bud Light guy forever. I turned my back and said, listen, Miller Lite it is. Those are my people. Those are the type of people you want to be around. That's the beer you want to drink. And I'm telling you, everything has been up, up, up since I made the switch. In it's Miller a Light. lifestyle. I love it. And it's genuine too. I genuinely liked it better because I had never had it before. I started drinking it, and I genuinely liked it better than Bud Light. And from there, that's me. That's, that's true. He told me that off the record too. He's like, "Dude, I just had never known." He's like, "Now I really enjoy it." And you didn't know like the type of uh, diehards they had. Like when you switched, a lot of people are rallying behind you. It's a brotherhood. It's the camaraderie. <laughs> yeah. Unlike unlike anything I've seen before, and I love it. So I'm happy to be a Miller guy. Yeah, awesome. So Miller Light. Uh, you know, got a half month here, a couple weeks left of summer. We got football season. We're going to be we're gonna be heavy into the Millers. You guys know the drill by now. Uh, and it's always there for you, no matter where you are. I know you're in Mississippi right now. You go to the grocery store, I guarantee you could find it. It's not like something else. You're, oh, do they have it? Do they not have it? Miller Lite is dependable. So next time you're getting ready to enjoy cold woods with your crew, go to MillerLite.com forward slash redline to find the delivery options near you. Or you can pick up some Miller Lite pretty much anywhere that they sell beer. It's Miller time. Celebrate responsibly. Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. 96 calories and 3.2 carbs per 12 ounces. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, there was another poll snafu this last week. I mean, 
I and listen, we all agreed we're gonna try to do. This is not my fault. Yeah, and I don't think it is. Yeah, we agreed like, hey, let's try to do it one more time. Hopefully, nobody will fuck with it. They did. So now we actually have to find a solution to the poll, which sucks. Can people just not? That'd be nice. You know, like who's nice. ever doing it? Can you just not? I. It would be nice. Yeah, it would be nice. So I don't know what you guys. Like, I don't want to show my frustrations with the people that are manipulating the poll. It just is what it is. This is the way people are. You get a huge population of people. There's always going to be a couple bad apples. Obviously, we got some bad apples fucking with the poll, so we're going to come up with a good solution and, and move on. And, Ed, I actually do feel bad for you because this is something that is outside your control. Yeah, people and like, are like... The, the Red Ed stuff is great, but like this is outside your control. Correct, yeah. like I like the, the Red Ed stuff's great. Unless it isn't. But I, this, is, this is not me, I swear. So what's Red Ed's final solution? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, goodness. I'm asking. I don't, I don't, I don't know, Dave. I don't think Ed gets it. I, I, I get it. I just don't. I, but if, to, to answer the question. You're a fuck. I don't know. Well, you better get on that. Times a time's we'll a wasting. We'll see. Maybe we'll have, like, wasting. he's gonna have to do like Survey Monkey, like fucking back at school. Yeah, like that? We're, yeah, like we're back nice to school. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This poll got 411 <laughs> results. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be real, real tight race. Little, should we just make polls uh, like 10 minutes now? It's just like a sprint. Yeah, poll? what about yeah. that, Dave? <laughs> that could be an option. I mean, someone could still put their credit card information and buy bots within 10 minutes, but uh, it'd be funny a sprint poll. But like nevertheless, we got to figure it out. And uh, no, you got to figure it out. Not we, you. All right. You want to let fucking... him get to you, Ed. He's a fucking little weasel over there. I'm not a weasel. You want to fucking go outside and do belly punches? <laughs> I would love to. <laughs> I can't believe. Can you talk about that more? Yeah. There's, I walked into the bar. Well, well, well here's, here's how it started. The story so <laughs> nonchalant. Well, I couldn't here's, like, yeah. here's how it started. I'll, okay? I'll tell you how the story Wait, went. Can, can we start with Dana, though? Because that's how it started. We oh, talked yeah, about yeah, you yeah. being here for the, uh, for the RV tour. And we talked about how we did the podcast, and you just got up and left like Vontae Davis at halftime. <laughs> like Irish you're goodbye. Like, you're, yeah, like, you're like, I got to go. I don't got it in me. And we're like, what happened? And Dave's like, I was feeling great. He was like, I was like really getting into it. I was like, yeah. You had literally just told me a story where I was like, Dave, I heard you had to get carried out of the bar. He's like, and he looked at me. And Dave, this is like the most sincere White Sox Dave has ever been with me. He's like, Ed, that's the most ashamed I've been <laughs> in my entire life. Yeah, I, I was pretty ashamed of myself. I, uh, I had a couple friends over on my roof deck to pregame for a, it was a 1 p.m. White Sox game. Might have been 3 p.m. It was, I don't know. It was a Saturday game, though. Uh, we had a few great tasting, less filling Miller lights on my roof. Hightailed it down to the stadium, drank all day there. I got offered Adderall. I obliged the person who offered me Adderall. I didn't have an ounce of food the entire day. I had no ballpark food. And that's why you go to a Sox game, is to eat the food because it's outstanding ballpark food. I got super fucked up, went to a bar afterwards and the some dude in the bar was like i don't really like you i'm like okay then hit me and he's like let's just start doing body shots i'm like all right let's do it and after every body shot we would take a shot of jameson and this is and this isn't like rapid fire so it was like a 10 minute 15 minute thing where we took a handful of shots of jameson and he caught me right in the kidney kind of knocked the wind out of me and i went outside and i just puked my guts out and that's all there is to it and I was ashamed. I was very ashamed of myself. <laughs> he won. Hey, tip your cap. I'll get him next time. How does that happen? I don't like you, all right? Then do something about it. All right, what do you want to do? Let's take shots of Jameson and punch each other in the belly until one pukes. That's why White Sox Dave is the best. I mean, I'll text Eddie like probably once a month with something stupid that White Sox Dave says, and I'll just be laughing for I... 10 minutes. This summer, I've ran into, like, three people that randomly know you from, like, high school and shit. One of them at a wedding. You I, you can I, confirm that. I can't. You, and I also, you, I have a missed call from you, that, like, two weeks ago at 4 a.m., and I never, I never found out what that was about. I don't remember what it was about, but I'm sure it was about something very, very not important. 
No, I, I listen, Dave. You're one of my favorite people. You make me laugh. Everything you do makes me laugh. You're one of those people. Like thank every you. Fucking, I, I don't <laughs> want to suck your dick. Thank you. Like, I think the uh, I don't want to suck your dick too much. I think the last time you texted me was you were listening to Sandwich Draft with uh, Jim Graziano by a beef kit. And Jim uh, was talking about a uh, a deli in Canada that was by like the Shashevsky. I don't know why I picked that, but but whatever the ski family. And he was like, "Oh, nice, nice Polish deli." He's like Jewish. <laughs> no, it was Jewish actually. So it was. Uh, you I got mean, thrown ski's off a Polish I know, name. I know, but it was just funny. It was just, it was just like, it was a bad beat for you to, for being honest. Yeah, I mean, yeah. What, if you if you hear the last name. Romanowski, I don't know why I picked that name. You're yeah. not going to assume Jewish. You're going to yeah, Roman Polish. on the brain. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> Seeped into my bloodstream at this point. It's just part of me. All right. Not too dissimilar to Miller Lite. <laughs> All right, uh, let's do the order now. What a fucking start! Um, don't look at me like that. Yeah, just like the visual, we're throwing like, off the visual of Dave just standing there trading bunches of the no, guys. but like we were doing like the Happy Gilmore like fist clench out to the side when he's taking the 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 batting practice balls in the batting cage off his chest, and we're like, Ugh, yeah, he hit me. <laughs> like, and he was, he was. <laughs> I will say this: he was much bigger than me, like six three, and like. Not fat, but like thick. <laughs> you, I got a text from my buddy. They're like, hey, dude, you might want to check on your guy. I just saw him get carried out. I was like, really? And then I don't want to bring it up to him because it's like Monday. Like, I'm sure he already had the scary. So, oh, I, the I, scaries were <laughs> yeah. unrelenting that next few days. <laughs> so I didn't. And then, like, the perfect timing was like that Tuesday night. I was like, got to bring it up now. You know? I, I was, then, I was. Ed, I've never been so ashamed in my life. I've done a lot of stupid things in my life. That was the first time I ever woke up the next morning truly ashamed of what I had, how I had acted the day before. There's no way that's true. It was one. It was one of the few times I should say. To be fair, first to Dave, time in a long time. To be fair to Dave, punch for punch when you're drinking with like your buddies is one of the most underrated games ever. Thank punch you. For punch. Thank but this you. wasn't his buddy. This was a guy who had a this problem. A with I wonder. I was like. <laughs> I was so fucked up that I wonder if I could pick that guy out of like a five person lineup. Probably not. <laughs> but like, like I have the flashes of what he looked like and he was at least at least eight inches tall. It's like an old west salute. Like in my head he's <laughs> yeah. got his all black cowboy thing on from smoke out just trading yeah. trading gut punches at the, some random stranger. If you are listening to the dog walk and you were that guy, prove it to me. Come in. We wanna we wanna have a sit down. <laughs> yeah, prove it to me. Like, I, there's going to be so many fucking guys being like, oh, that was me. Yeah. Yeah, right. I, I got it. Yeah, he got, he got the better than me, but, like, <laughs> I'll, I'll have my vengeance. <laughs> Maybe I'll just uh, walk into him and cold cock him next time I see him. No, I wouldn't do that. You're great, David. <laughs> um, all right, let's do order. Dana B, Danny has number one through five behind his back. What number is it? Number three. Three. Carl. Two. Four. One. Five. Um, fuck it. I'm going to go back to back to back. Number one overall. Okay. All right. One through four. Day to B. Really? Yeah. No, first of all, how can we try? Uh, no. The three. 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 Carl. Four. Two. I'll go with number three. One through three, Dana. Two. Two. Carl. Carl. One. I'll take the fifth spot. One or two, uh, Chief? Two. Two or four. I will go four. All right, Dana, you got two. Hate that. Why do you hate that? I wanted five or four. I because the well, first time I went in, I didn't have much of a strategy. Now I've listened to every single one of these. I know how these things go. Like the way my brain operates, I overthink shit and I get in my own way with everything. Now I'm coming in prepared and I have a plan. And two was not the plan. <laughs> All right. Also, to be fair, you were like one of the only ones we've ever done with six. So yeah, final yeah, was on that, too. that was different. Yeah. But All right. So I'm two. Yeah. So the order is Eddie, Dana, White Sox, Dave, Chief, Carl. Oof. All right, it's to me number one overall. I'm. This is unprecedented. I don't know if anyone's gone one so many times. 
in a row, I yeah. I doubt I that it's been right. Row. And it's been by choice for some reason. Yeah. I don't know why. I guess I'm, I guess I'm just fearless now, Chief. Um, fearless. When you can, when it's you a know. buzzword. Have you been, have you been <laughs> talking you know, to somebody? When you know you can juice the poll, it doesn't uh, matter where yeah. you pick. Yeah. There we go. All right, I'm going miscellaneous right out of the gate. Whoa. Ooh. Bold. This has become a meme, but it, there's a reason why it's a meme, and there's a reason why it's so popular, and it's the TV cart. There was something about that TV cart getting rolled in. Oh. You got you got to explain it much better. Than I mean, you that can't because, just say TV car. Yeah. yeah, now I got it. Yeah, that was you felt awesome when you because you knew you were getting a movie day. You get to just not yes. do anything. You had, didn't have to yes. focus, concentrate. Great pick. I don't yes. know if it's one one worthy, but you better right, explain is. better than just I think TV it's. Car. I think it's one one. I'm 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 happy with it. What do you mean? I, I it's what get the TV car getting rolled in. Like is that mm -hmm. what like the action of it getting rolled in? Does that make it? More of a like pick? I wouldn't I wouldn't call it that. To what do you mean? Like oh, okay, so say it's you know you're doing science class. You're in science class in sixth grade, and you roll in the cart, and they're playing a Bill Nye the Science Guy. It could episode. be the worst movie. It could be anything. Doesn't matter. Still, way but of course. it was way better when those lights went off. It was euphoria. How many bad religious movies did you and oh I watch as kids that were God. cartoon, Joseph and this and that, the story of the, and we, it didn't matter. It did not matter at Sounds all. Like you said or you were just to me. fucking hooked on the fact that it was something different than the teachers exactly. saying that they're talking. Exactly. And it was, it was a break. The period would go by faster. You could sit there, maybe like, you know, catch a little nap because it was dark in there. The TV cart. You would put your hand and the in temperature your fist. would go down. Yeah. You turn the lights off in those rooms. Yep. You know, it's an put the fucking blinds down. It's an exhilarating feeling when that thing gets rolled the fuck in there. It really is. <laughs> it, it is, yeah. especially if it was like sometimes you would know if you didn't know and you saw it coming and it was surprise. No better surprise. Yeah. There was no better surprise now, in school. Looking back now, you wonder how many times you got to do that just because a teacher was hungover. Yes. You know. Yes. Dude, I got I got friends that are teachers. And when my, all right, so one, he's listening right now, I guarantee it. But when he first became a teacher, he told, he was in a, at a school that was in our conference, not my high school, but same conference. And he said that all the teachers were fucking each other. And really? I was, I was like, looking back, it made sense. Yeah. You think they rolled the TV card in there? He said they were like, a lot of them smoked a ton of weed. They, he said they were all <gasps> fucking each other. I was like. These, it, these are the makes people in charge of your education. Exactly. And look where, <laughs> look. It, Does that ever make you think you should have became a teacher, Dave? No, not for that reason. But I, I always <laughs> thought to myself, they're like, there's no fucking way to be a teacher. That summer break's got to be awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah. I'm, I, so I can or I can't just take the TV cart? I think you can take it. Okay. Why, why couldn't you? Well, I Dave think, was like, I mean, I me think guff. that you are... I think that there's another way to put it where the graphic would look much more favorable for you. I don't know what you're alluding to, but I'm fine with it. I like TV. I'll cart. explain for. I'll explain yeah. in the in the at the end of the show. All right. Uh, yeah, TV cart. I'm happy Good with the one though. one. Um, I think it's I think it's dominant. Like I said, it's a meme, but there's a reason why. Like, mm -hmm. You've seen that before. I don't think I've seen the meme. No, it's just like I don't know. It's just. Whatever it is, like the meme with text, like you saw one of these rolling in, you know you're in for a good day. Yep. It's a fact. It's a fact. Yep. Uh, Dana, you're up. All right. So I'm in a tough spot here. I have two. <laughs> Board's <laughs> wide open. <laughs> I know, but I have the, my two options are either lunch items or best day. And I'm fucking in between two things right now. I don't think I have much depth at the lunch item position. So fuck it. I'm going chocolate milk. Fuck. Ooh. Yahoo! Can I do Yahoo or can it just be chocolate milk? I, like I think I think you want to say chocolate milk. I think yeah. you want the carton to be yeah. honest, yeah. like I, I, just to help you out. I don't know, like right? right? Yeah, give me the carton and right in at pick number two. Opinion. It's a fucking staple of any lunch. You know, every single e either you could pack it or you could get it from the fucking cafeteria. Those things are fire. I wish I actually haven't had one probably since middle school or elementary school. Where do they all go? Where do those Where do those cartons go? Like I feel like they're just missing. Yeah, yeah, have, yeah, yeah, like I they're so like they're prevalent only, in your life when you're a yeah. kid, right? And then like when you're an adult, like I wouldn't, you know, I don't even know where you would get it. Just probably cafeteria at a elementary. Yeah, school. like they're not behind the glass at a convenience store. No, right? yeah. no. So 
Do they still make them, or do they switch to a different package for schools? Uh, I hope they still make them. And the word, but you know what the thing was? Can I give you a con on this? It was a motherfucker when it didn't open first try. It was. You had to rip it open. Yeah. 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 You know, White Sox Dave was that fucking. (laughs) <laughs> Neanderthal motherfucker that would rip it with uh, all fours. Neanderthal, did you see Chief's feet? <laughs> he looks like one of the Geico cavemen. <laughs> Disgusting. And he fucking takes his shoes and socks off in public all the time. It's a porn. You know what I mean? When you when you couldn't open the one side, you had yeah, to so four, you had to do the other uh, side. Yeah, four yeah. lip it and Dave. Sox, yeah. White Sox Dave was the one with the Cheeto fingers that was opening the milk, and it was just a disgusting <laughs> fuck. Like a grouping of Cheeto fingers and. I didn't really like Cheetos. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I like flaming hot. That was it. <laughs> yeah, um, chocolate milk, number two. Good pick. Mm-hmm. You, Scarlett, you seem upset. You seem like you. I wanted it, it sixth <laughs> overall. Yeah, oh, I you, liked it you very much in the second, second round. Because right. I do think it's the first. I think it's the number one lunch lunch item for sure. Yeah, my lu- my lunch is is I don't got much there. I have probably have four or five things that I'd be happy with taking. And that was at the top, and I don't think I could get something that I would like at the back end of the draft. So chocolate milk, baby. Very good, Dan B. Good. I'm proud of you. You uh, it you seem to have nailed it. Uh, White Sox, Dave. I'm going to go to the game section, and I'm going to dodgeball because I was the greatest dodgeball player in the history of elementary or middle school. Mostly elementary school because we didn't really play those kind of games once we got a little older. But I Were was. Were you a bully? Unfucking believable. He that was game. the same size as he is now at 12 years old. <laughs> that is true. Everything. So, true. You, you think Were you he a was a bully? You yeah. Think All right. So? so, we got the Little League World Series out in the background. Like, yeah, every year you have these kids pumping 75 when they're 12. Like, I was one of those kids, and I never ever threw harder from when I was like 12 to when I was in college. Maybe like, well, I actually did, but it was, it was marginal. It was marginal. Now, now, does the fact that it's a recess dodgeball game make a difference? Why? It's better in the gym class. Yes. Or no, recess dodge or gym class. Well, it's recess game. It's like a, like that was. The, I mean, we would play either or. No, so yeah, yeah. In it, gym it, class, it counts, but I'm just saying, like, if it's on, if there's no teacher to, to really make it, sure, to, to, there's yes, a lot of yes. kids fucking right. trying to pull fast ones, be like, no, it didn't hit me. Yeah. Just skid my shirt, you know. And we, like you would have like the balls would like get, they'd have to chase down the balls because it's not in the yeah. gym with the wall there. I don't know. We would have the. Uh, it's great. I the love gator skin, the gator skin balls. Do you remember those? Oh, the, those those you, were fucking awesome. They came in three different sizes. So you get the one that was like the size of a twelve inch shelf ball. You're talking about the rubber ones, right? No, not the rubber ones. They were like they were called gator skin balls. It wasn't actually gator skin, of well, course. Obviously, but, I don't know. What um, you're talking about. I don't think I did they either. they would come in three separate sizes. And whenever you would go outside and you'd see those, you'd be like, "Oh, we're playing dodgeball." <laughs> <all day." laughs> And I would get one of those ones that you could actually fucking chuck. Oh, yeah, chuck. yeah, 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 yeah. It's just like the, the ones that you would really condense. Right, right, the right, right. Off. They were like foam on the inside. Yeah, they yeah, had yeah. the, like, skin outer half. But I did we, not know those were called gator skins, though. I don't think anyone would know. I didn't that's know that's what we, we call no, them. No, you're correct. You're correct. Yeah. But I'm just like. We uh, we invented this game, game called German dodgeball, where it's every man for himself instead of team. So say there's 20, 30 kids out, whatever. You'd roll out like a uh, quarter of the ball. So like. One in every four pers- people would have a ball, and it was just every man for himself. So everybody was like had their head on a swivel, and balls could be coming from any direction. There was no like line you couldn't cross or anything. And when you got down to one versus one, and each person had a ball, and you're just chucking them at each other, it was the most fun shit of all time. I would play that right now as a 32 year old. Is this how you got so good at Call of Duty? Probably. Probably. I don't. I don't know what that has to do with it, but probably. I mean, you're, this is a free for all, right? You're landing for dance, and this everybody. <laughs> I mean, that's else. team actually, but. Um, you're way off, actually, but that's fine. But it was like dodgeball. Just life. throwing baseballs at your buddies or anything at your buddies is one that's of great. the most fun things that's you great. can do. I would love to have Dave in my middle school crew, like in my back, like <laughs> rolling around with Sox Dave in, in elementary school. Lighting Just stuff on no fire. No one fucked with you, yeah. Lighting stuff on fire. <laughs> Playing in the I woods. Nobody would have fucked with you. Dude, nobody would have fucked with you. Nobody would have fucked with you, bro. It's true. How tall are you, Dana? I'm 6'4". White Sox Dave would have been your protector. Yeah, back then. It's true. <laughs> Just so you know. Yeah. How All tall right. were you at eleven? Dave was. Uh, Dave was. I was actually eight. one of those. I was one of those lanky, tall kids like my whole life. Ah, so. Fuck you. Oh, yeah. And I was really skinny, so I needed some. I needed some meat in my crew. <laughs> um. All right, dodgeball. Does anybody not like it? No, dodgeball's great. Yeah. I do think that gym class is better, but 
Yeah. Still great. Same. The problem, I will just say dodgeball is great. I have a lot of similar respects for it, like Dave, because we are typically, Dave, we're stronger armed guys for our peers. Yes. But I would imagine dodgeball for most people is not something they're like, oh, yeah, that was awesome. Oh, I, our listenership, I think a lot of people. I don't know, though, dude. I think mean, there's some people, people that were like, yeah, I, mean, I can't really throw. I'm there was probably really people good that, at dodgeball. You know, like, the unathletic Like, you're nerds. really good at dodgeball. Yeah, oh, I was fucking unbelievable at it. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I had hands of gold. <laughs> Someone tried to throw it, I would stick it like Billy Madison <laughs> and just fucking hit him right in the face. I tried to hurt people in dodgeball. Did you see US won gold this year? In handball? Dodgeball. Get the fuck out of here. Is this actually... Swear to God. It's an Olympic sport? No, not not Olympic, but they won like the, the international, the international that's against a, Canada. The World, I, the World Cup of dodgeball. I think they were down 6-1 to one or something. I, I should be in contact with them by the end of this episode, just so you know. Yes, Like please. the U.S. professional dodgeball team. Please do that. Dodgeball. Um, okay. Dodgeball is off the board. Chief, you're up. I'll go with uh, maybe like the highest stakes when you're playing... Uh, outside recess was knockout so like we would have like these Ooh, long good. lines for for knockout and if like you got knocked out yeah. like your recess was ruined because like every guy in the class was playing knockout so i love knockout that's like one of my favorite uh recess games basketball games everybody can play and uh you know like and then there's there's i feel like it would like turn into like a little bit of a scrap sometimes yeah, someone yeah. like would <laughs> knock the ball away kick the ball away so it was like high tension a lot on the line loved loved knockout Knockout is the elite basketball game. Yeah. It's way better than 21. Oh. Ooh. It's way better than 21. I well, why are you love, giving away your fucking to, picks? Well, that's not really well, a recess. Not, yeah, I yeah. I wouldn't say. But, like, if you have three Would guys you? in the driveway, 21's pretty good. I, I don't remember ever playing 21 at, at recess. I don't either. Yeah, and I know this is going to be very based on people's experience. Like, like I don't have a hoop outside at recess. So this Really? Probably, no. Wow. No. Yeah, we didn't either. No, yeah. But, like, you know. Everyone's experience is different here. I thought I thought they came standard with schools. Oh, hmm. okay. Um, great pick though. Knockout fucking rules. Yeah, knockout. Yeah, best. that's a good yeah. pick. What did Dave take again? That's right, dodgeball. Dodge, dodgeball. Man, making a nice little run here on games. Were you a bush league guy who would throw someone's ball? If I was, hated that. Yeah, hated. She's that. got integrity. Remember? Yeah. It, it, was, was, it was such a fucking that the feeling of anxiety you get when you miss that first free throw. Oh, yeah, <laughs> the rush. And then you're trying to like and you keep chunking layups and you're like, fuck, 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 well, fuck. Yeah. Chief, can I just remind you that I am a, a hardcore member of Barada Gang and I respect every single move you make within these drafts of keeping with your heart. I just want you to look to know that I respect you. Hey, you know, Dana B. A million I appreciate that. That's disgusting. Feels man. like there's a butt. Keep that in mind throughout this draft. Keep that in mind. Okay. <laughs> fucking Hamilton movie soundtrack. Um, the people voted against me. That's how democracy works. <laughs> knockout. Just, anything else on knockout? Good pick. Um, I hit that exact. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, Call. no, I, knockout's crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's, good, it's It's a great two, bas- like two all, basketballs, one hoop, and as many yeah. kids as you can get in the neighborhood. And it's electric when that kid who, like, isn't supposed to win hits that first shot and knocks yeah. out the kid who's the best. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Like, there's yeah. no, goes, like, yeah. Yeah. you won't get a bigger pop than that. Yeah. People and, like, the, like it, once that you get knocked out, everybody just stays, like, around the three-point line and watches. So yeah, it's, like, yeah, you yeah. have, like, that element of it, too. Mm-hmm. It's sweet. Uh, Carl, you're up. All right. Uh, I'm going to take best day, and I'm going to take, uh, like, your first, like, your sick day, the first time you're home from school, sick. The first sick day? Yeah. Yeah. Actual sick or fake sick? I think it's like, you know, is anybody ever actually sick as a kid? It's like, you know, you're either puking and you're... So first sick day. Yeah, when you're not at school and you know all your friends are at school and you're home and you're watching Bob Barker and like... Maybe, yeah, and like maybe Jerry grandma Springer. came over to like work on a puzzle or something because mom and dad are at work and you're just like sitting in the basement and you're not actually at school. So playing hooky? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, first sick day. I mean, it's well, like your hookies, first you're not telling your parents school. either. So my mom would give me three fake sick days a year. And that was like <laughs> awesome for no. the rest of my friends. Like I had friends that didn't miss a single day of all four years of high school. And if like I wanted to stay home one day, she'd be like, all right, this is one of three. I'd usually and get one day in, in September. It's a good feeling. 
Why the September first time though? You want them in like winter? Just because I would be like so stressed out about the fact that like school is back and like I just couldn't handle it. Yeah, like you're 30 days straight, whatever. It's you know mid September. You, know, mm-hmm. you know, you're watching the clock. It's like, well, it's like 10:30 already. And my dad would be like, "Are you sure you're sick?" <laughs> and you're like, "Yeah, I think so." And he's like, "Well, I I wasn't that sick." You know, dads would be very sensitive yeah. about their kids taking sick days, but mm-hmm. for sure. All right, I honestly sick, don't man. even. I don't even remember like how I used to fake being sick. I have no. I don't, can't even remember. Like just a little cough, maybe. Yeah, you would hold the thermometer up to the light bulb, but not too close, because then it's like, oh, you got 110, you're dead. Yeah, so I've done that. Your a brain's few times, like, like yeah, melting, you're melted up from the inside out. So you got to get that exactly right. That's yeah, true. you need just like a nice little 101 fever, and you're good to go. You yeah. just got to keep repeating, "I don't feel good," until your parents are so yeah. annoyed. They're just like, "Fine, fuck it." Yeah. They don't. It's so, actually like you'd think. I mean, we do have PTO and stuff like that in work, but could you imagine a world where like just adults could be like, "Yeah, I just I'm not feeling that good. I'm not." I mean, I would do that. It happens. I mean, but where there wasn't PT, where nobody had any PT, there wasn't any. It was just like you could just easily be like, "Hey, I'm not feeling well. I'm out of this obligation. No repercussions whatsoever." See, here's the thing: in the post-corona world, I bet you can get away with that unbelievably easy yeah. in a normal office setting now. Just be like, I don't feel good. They will be like, don't even come near to work yep. for the next fucking two months. You should put together like a list of all your tricks and trades for a post-COVID world. I mean, that's got to be one of them for everybody, right? Mm. We don't got to really worry about that because we don't have like mm. technical managers and shit where we would have to call in sick. But if it was my old job, I'm sure they would be like, don't even think about coming in. All right. What's the uh, first pick of the second round, Carl? I'm going field trip and I am going to take – I don't – I, this might just be like a local thing, but I don't care. I'm taking medieval times. It was on my list, too. We did not do that. I've been we there, and it's that. fucking blast. I would actually like to go, like, this weekend. <laughs> Are you talking, like, uh, so the King Richard's Fair video, the classic Butterfield <laughs> one. I don't, is that just a Massachusetts thing, or is that everywhere? I had it's, never heard of it. There's actually, I never heard so of it. So King Richard's Fair, so I did some research when we had the guy on uh, the Portland show a couple, well, like, last year. There's two of them. There's actually one in Wisconsin. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's going on right now. Yeah, there's a King Richard's Fair, like, and there's one in Massachusetts. But um, no, this is like medieval times. Is like it's a chain. I didn't realize. Yeah, there's, there's one in Florida. Yeah, I know there's I've one, been one to in the one in Florida. There's, there's yeah. one is in it, Jersey. Well, I believe. Is it similar? Is it like a similar type? No, of show? it's no. way better. It's way better. It's they, indoors, dude. It's like horse fighting. You think it's, like it's different. Like it's just PG version yeah. of Game of Thrones. It's yeah. sick. They make yeah. you eat with your hands. Like yeah, they'll, just, they'll, they'll give you big serve. ass fucking turkey legs what? and shit. Yeah. They just serve what you like a rotisserie chicken. Are you guys going on? I didn't. We didn't. We didn't go there for. You got. You got. You had to get like a special permission form, and it was like a special field trip. But the like obviously the dads were all in on it, but because you can booze there too. They've got like a bar when you go in, but. So it's a it's a big castle looking building, and when you go in, they like process the tickets. There's a bar. There's a little bit of this museum you can walk around and look at old torture yes. devices. <laughs> I was just and look about to at, say yeah. like, this is yeah. a pretty dark, yeah. dark Very medieval dark. history like <laughs> warfare combat related museum <laughs> items. And then they have this larger arena that probably seats between one and two thousand people. Yeah, a few thousand, mm-hmm. right? And they yeah. split yeah. you up, and I think there's six teams. I want to say four, but whatever. red, white, yeah, blue, color, green, yeah. gold, yeah. black. And then they have knights that represent the color, and you wear the shirt like I'm wearing the red shirt. Yeah, let's fucking go, red knight. Let's do it, baby. <laughs> yeah, and they sword fight in like a pit, and they joust like it's awesome. Yeah, it it's is, and they sweet. all have like British accents and stuff. So there's from like ten. King Arthur. There's ten. Ten teams. There's I would ten, love ten to locations. Do a medieval ten outing. locations. Okay. Medieval I would times love outing. Love to do that. You could booze too, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Like we. Can oh walk. yeah. We like, should. We before should do football this. season, we should do like a, a team outing to like go to medieval do times and yes. just <laughs> rally together. That would Dana, be sick. you're invited. Can I? Can I please be the captain of a team? <laughs> uh, now you're the captain. You, we just invited you yeah. graciously, and you're trying to be the captain. Yeah, but those are ten teams. Give him an inch, he tries to take a mile. No, there's ten locations. Ten locations. It's oh, a great. It's a good date yeah, no, night. Too. I would think that would be good an group awesome night. date night. I knew people. I'm 100 percent in on that yeah. medieval times. I would like to because when I think of that, I think of King Richard's Fair, which is like, if you've ever been to it, it's really something. Like you, that video only really does it justice. There's creatures there, like legitimate creatures who 
their whole life is like dressing up yeah. to go to King Richard's. See, it's not like that. No. This is like 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 regular people just go for a night to just yeah. fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. So we're talking afterwards. The last time I went, I was like talking to the, the red and yellow night. It was like you can take a picture afterwards. And we were in the red and yellow section. He won. So it's like, you know, oh, dude, you won. Like, congrats. Like, can we get a picture? And it's like. So, like, how do you get into Medieval Times? And he's like, yeah, I used to work for, like, the Com Ed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's like, yeah, he's swear to God, he's like, my yeah. buddy's a bartender, and they had, like, auditions for the nights. And I was just like, hey, I think I can grow my hair out. This could be something. How long have you been doing it? About eight years. Yeah. Dude, no bullshit. My, cousin, my cousin used to date a night. Oh, you, I remember <laughs> oh, you saying you that. Told us. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. said that. Yeah. He used to date a night, and, like, i just see him at, like, Christmas, and he'd, like, have his fucking ponytail. Like, what's up, man? How's the work? He's like, oh, it's good. You know, I win yesterday. He's like, I won Tuesday. Black Knights win it tonight. I was like, oh, nice. You know, like, you know? What do you mean it's staged? Yeah, exactly. Tickets are $64, by the way. It's not cheap. That, yeah. This is, you're not going to the aquarium. Well, but it's an experience. Yes. It's an experience. Yeah. No, medieval time is great. Yeah. I, I didn't know that was a field trip, but now I'm, I'm jealous. My, you, I'm jealous that you drafted it and that you got to do yes. it for a field trip. Seventh grade, it was a, it was a staple for, okay. our, for our school. I never went for a field trip, and but I would have loved to. There's another, to classic, the there's another classic, more mature field trip option, I think, too. Yeah. <sighs> I was hoping to get that in the fifth round. So why, why do you sigh? Well, because well, you're up. You're up. I, you're I'm up, up and I'm between, I'm between that, a field trip and, and the best day. I'm going to go with field trip. I'm taking when you're in eighth grade and the physics class takes you to Six Flags. That was, so, yeah, that would, I think that should have been the first that, one. I was taken. in between medieval medieval times and Six Flags for the field trip as my number well, one. Was that what you're talking about? The more yeah, because yeah, sure. yeah, that's just that, because that's literally the first time you're like 13 or 14 years old and they're like, all right, meet back at the buses. Yep. Yeah. And you're off. Yeah. Right, what? Yeah. You're off on your own a little bit. Yep. It's great. It is great. Yeah. <laughs> like, and that's like a that's question. a that's a day of school. Like you're and you're just going there, and they like give you some bullshit like assignment. And you just like check the boxes, and then you're just it's a free for all. It's yeah, a great time. Great, great pick. Mm -hmm. I do think that's sorry. That's a bonding time too for the boys. Big we time. talked about that with carnivals when we did the carnival draft. Oh, but yeah. like that that is like a very formative time where you and your buddies can take like major steps. Yep. Shout out, Gurney. Sorry, Dana. What were you gonna say, Dana? Well, I, I don't. I feel like it's just gonna cause some unnecessary drama and questions oh no no, no. Speak. no we, we like that speak freely is a field trip day a best day, considered a best day so that that was that that's what was talked about a field trip day is take you cannot take that as your best day it's not my best day. yeah yeah, yeah. but you can't like it's just i think that's pretty there's yeah, enough oh, days yeah. in the year yeah, yeah. there's enough like random days in a school year right? yeah exactly there yep. is um, but is Six Flags a field trip? Is my question. Oh, big oh, time! Oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah. Like that you, was you yeah. went in eighth grade as like the last thing for like it was like for. Physics. How about this for a a way to differentiate for a field trip? You had to get a permission slip sign. Permission slip signed for a best day. It just it's just yeah. It's that's a good way to put part it. Part of it. Part of the year. Uh -huh. I got it. I got it. Yeah. Now I, you know we talked about this on uh, Thursday's episode. I had a couple local comedians on and like, what did we do in line to pass the time when we waited two hours for the raging bull? Like now these kids, like, you know, you, you were sitting on social and stuff like, yeah, like you we just literally just made fun of each other. Yeah. yeah. We literally yeah. just Bus sat balls. there and made fun of each other. There were a few kids who were, I'll say more developmentally advanced than I was who would like make out with girls. <laughs> and that I sure, was yeah. like that. I, I didn't partake in that. In the middle of the line? Oh, you don't remember seeing that? Yeah, we guess. wouldn't be in the middle of the line. We would be like fucking around, like behind shit. Yeah, it's like you literally like your one form of enjoyment. Like we, I, this is the chain link fence. Like that yeah. you pass every time you snake through the. Somebody you know, would like, get a wet willy. It's just and then it's just like Carl said. You're just making fun of each other. Yeah, the whole time. Crazy. It's yeah. like yeah, who's gonna scream the loudest? Probably you, Eddie, you pussy. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I'm not gonna scream. Someone, like, yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah, you will. Someone yell penis. And yeah, look away. <laughs> play the penis yeah. game. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Crazy. And then there would be that one guy that was really fun to be around, but he was also a complete liability to be around. That would scream penis at the very top of his lungs, and he'd be like, oh, fuck, he just won. But we're all probably going to get yelled at now. <laughs> I was the penis guy. <laughs> I, I bet you were, Dana. Great I also pick. was. Great pick. Were you making out with chicks, Dana? Uh, Once I was like one of those, once you get hot, you get hot. So once I had one makeout, there was a million of them. <laughs> 
It was like I made out with a girl at a, like a school dance semi-formal type of thing, and then I was just making out with the whole grade. I think I was setting <laughs> records down at Henry T. Wing School. Cool brag. <laughs> Great pick, but, su- <laughs> but surprising pick. Like, you would think of more educational pick from, from Barstool Chief. <sighs> Wow, I mean, man. you're What's trying that? to. Wow. He's always trying to just put me in these in these boxes so that <laughs> that suits his narrative and suits the brand and the wrestling thing that he's trying to create here. These different characters, but no, I love Six Flags as much as you do. <laughs> Probably okay. more. That's my guy. Stay true to your heart, Chief. Yeah. I love. It. Yeah, well, you I know. think that should have been a first round pick. I just thought he'd fucking the botanical garden. Uh, <laughs> it would have been my next pick. The state, the state Probably. house. Go down to the state house. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like the rub Abe Lincoln's nose, yeah. uh, White Sox Dave. I'm going to the lunch item category, and I'm going with the one and only Lunchables. Fuck. Yeah, Good I one. was down to either that or fuck. Six Flags, so I was completely fuck, fuck, fuck. That, I, he had chocolate milk too, because that literally I just had to get past you. I mean, fuck. Lunchables are synonymous with like grade school. Not so much middle school, but grade school. You get the little pizza ones. You get to make your own little pizzas. Put the pepperoni and the sauce on there. Every time I walk by one in the grocery store to this day, I think about picking one up just for uh, nostalgia purposes. But um, like looking back, like if you consistently had Lunchables like every day at lunch, you were like one of the rich kids. I feel like. I never or had you had shitty that's... parents. Why is that? Dude, I had a couple of buddies that were always coming in with like, yeah, I got Lunchables, this and that. Well, like their parents just did not give a fuck right, like, at all. My, in my mom would lunch. home make the bread for the sandwich. Right. Yeah. Um, but you're right, though, Dave. It was a treat. Like if for, like, Yeah, for people, me it was like, a treat. Yeah, I would yeah. get PBJ uh-huh. every fucking day. Yeah. But then like, yeah. Once yeah, in a while, but like, we once got it, it, like, oh, shit. I got usually when my dad was responsible, that's when Lunchables came out. He'd be like, hey, what do you, how do you feel about lunch? Just maybe a couple Lunchables this week? Perfect. Like, yeah, it's great, dude. <laughs> yeah. But Fuck you yeah. like the pizza ones? I thought those sucked. Yeah, like, it didn't matter. I was just using that for. I mean, uh, I, I, they were popular. But I, the, the ham and cheese ones. That was, that's yeah. number one. I Toss up to me. Didn't matter. Either or. Wasn't, wouldn't, you know, nitpick or complain. Fuck. If I got one or the other, but Lunchables, like that was that was the fucking that was the jam in, in what, you know fourth what's the most grade. upset I've been. Did I miss that? What's your favorite one? I, w- I didn't hear if you. It's I mean that. to me it was a total toss between the pizza ones and the uh, the ham and cheese ones. Dude, I like I like still eat the pizza ones to this day. I, I believe like, it. <laughs> I believe it. You are Those kind are of like a grown up baby. I feel like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm a tra- I'm a mix of a trash and a uh, baby. Just a trash person and a baby. I just lays, it. just lays on the balcony bed, spreading the fucking sauce <laughs> onto those little sauce. Those little Dana lives his life like it's just a constant sleepover with the boys. Like that. That's how he lives. You you, you're saying you wouldn't crush one of those pepperoni lunchables right now? I've actually never had one. So with the Capri Sun on the side, come on. We're not giving away picks here, Dana. Jesus. Ah, uh, shit. My bad. My bad. Um. All right, launchable off the board. What data are you up? All right. Fuck. I don't have. Uh, fuck it. Last day. Fuck. Last day. You you got the boys together. Everyone's getting getting wild. The summer's coming up. You're about to go play some sports with the boys. Maybe play some video games. You got the whole summer ahead of you. You got the yearbooks. Everyone's signing each other's yearbooks. Maybe you got a cute girl. You're trying to get her to sign your yearbook. She writes something like, hey, I'll see you next, you know, next school year. And you're like, hey, what's up, baby? Let's fucking do this. Can't and that's relate. it. Last day. As I someone, would write as, a hackus. As someone who didn't grow until they were 17, I can't relate to that. Girls were the scariest <laughs> thing in the world. So no, I, I actually day, hated the whole yearbook thing. I hated I hated that day. It was fun. You, got, you just yeah. fucked around. Stressful. No, but it was good. Like you like put the desks on the side of the room. And, yeah. Like, you wiped everything yeah. down. And like yeah. everyone was just sitting on the floor. It's a great day. And it's usually, I feel it. like it was usually a half day, too. Oh, it was always yeah. a half day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and it was just like, just completely pointless to be there, but, like, the school had to hit, like, yeah. the you just, day's minimum. Yeah, you just knew you and your buddies were getting ready for the fucking summer. You guys were about to race. Yeah. Hell. Yeah, the buzz is hot. The buzz is hot for last day. The, 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 there's just that, did you say the buzz? The buzz. Like, yeah, like, dude, the, the, the like energy around, in the yeah. room is just yeah. so much different. And, like I'm doing it right now. I remember every day in high school, I would start like humming to myself, Alice Cooper. Like as I was walking out the last period, I'm like, "School's out for summer." <laughs> There's a specific best last day though. I think is when you're. For us, it was 
when you were, our last day is seventh graders, like the eighth graders had already, they weren't there. They, they were, were gone. out of school. Yeah. So then we got That's to line up where the eighth graders lined up before school and hang out where they, like, because before oh, yeah, you go, yeah, they yeah. open up the doors of school, like you're waiting for school to open. Mm -hmm. And so the eighth graders would congregate closest to the doors under this overhang. So if the weather was shitty, you know, maybe one guy was smoking a cigarette one day or something, <laughs> you know, like those were the excited that, that like, That's okay, now you get to go be an eighth grader. Yeah. No, this was the best day. I would have taken this next too. Uh, Eddie's just getting boned at that I one know. slot right now. Getting fucking Stephen Che boned. Uh, <laughs> great pick, great pick. Thank you, sir. I'm up, and I honestly don't know what to pick. It's not going to compare to those last two picks. I guess I'm going to go with the, the last day before winter break. It's 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 clearly well behind the last day of school, but. Just knowing you got a couple weeks and you could just kind of uh, – usually you watch like Frosty the Snowman or some bullshit. You know, it was always a nice day and everyone – like you don't do anything. I feel like that was the day you had to go – like everyone went to go watch like the uh, the choir sing. Like the, they would put on a Christmas concert at like 11. Yeah, but that – you know, but that's that's better than being in class. Yeah, like, that's I, did, the thing. I thought so, yeah. Yeah. Get those nice comfy auditorium chairs and everything. Yeah, mm -hmm. you get that. And then, like I said, you'll pop on Frosty. Like someone's like, it's a different kind of lunch. Someone yep. probably brings something. Mm -hmm. um, there's probably some type of uh, like, uh, I don't know. I forget exactly how mm. to call it. Where like they sell shit. I don't know. Oh, like the little yeah. ki Chris Kennel market. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like they have that. And uh, they also they're passing around like you could send off like uh, we lost Dana. We could send off uh, like the um, candy canes with a little note too. Yeah, we could do and, that too. And it's a day too. Here, here's my I guess my only pitch of why it's better than the last day of school. It is a day where everybody's happy, right? Top to bottom, everyone's yep. happy. The last day of school, like some people might be a little sad, mm -hmm. like some people. So I you're, guess you're that's also my not pitch. worrying about a report card coming. No, too, it's, if, if you're yeah. failing religion class, I, I did fail religion. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> right. Um, that's the most talk about a shame. That's the most shame my father has ever been to me when I failed religion. Um, yes, last last day before winter break. I don't know how you guys feel about it. It's a good pick. I, yeah, you seem deflated when you took it. You well, could, probably could have waited to the fourth round. I mean, or if you go maybe, six six flags lunchables last. Yeah, day. It's, it's, it's it was. Yeah, it was, the, those were. I it was lunchable or last day was my was my next pick. So, a little deflated, but I do think it is a great day. Like I said. Mm -hmm. Everybody's happy. Hmm. Um, all right. I need lunch item, recess game, or field trip. You, know, you mentioned it. I'm just going to take it, too. I know there's a lot of field trips taken. But the shed was fucking fun. Oh, it's, uh, the, it's the, fun to this day. So I feel like you guys, as growing up in the city or closer to the city, had better field trips than we did. Yeah. I had, yeah. I we had go, shed. I we would go, go to the field. I didn't or, go to the, the shed. The shed is the, the shed. aquarium. Sorry for people who don't listen and are not in Chicago. And Dana, you're probably, what the fuck's a shed? So you could say, oh, the, the would the graphics say shed or would it say aquarium? What do you say? Would graphics say shed or aquarium? Uh, you like shed. The shed aquarium. Shed's what? a way better word than aquarium. Yeah, shed aquarium's good. Shed. No, yeah, shed I, yeah. I guess I we just didn't. Maybe we were just too far away. But we did. We did not have. No, we did not have shed aquarium. Oh, we would go there. I feel like every year, and I wasn't that much farther than you were. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. We just we never did it. So would you guys go to like the little red schoolhouse or something? Or yeah, we would. We would do shit yeah, like, like that. Yeah, yeah. That's why like Six Flags was like the only like memorable good field trip we had. So if if I didn't get that, I was gonna be in trouble. The reason I know Shed Aquarium is because that's the Big Cat video, right? Yes. This thing raised. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Correct. Correct. It's, it's still awesome. It's cool. Yeah, it's good. Same thing. Like when you get like the little, you know, you go watch the whale show. You go mm -hmm. watch the. You get the penguins. Yeah, the dolphins. Yep. You go there. Did you get the pet stingrays when yeah. you were a kid? And blackfish hadn't come out yet. So you yeah. Didn't have to so you were like really it. cool with yeah. it. Yeah. And then like oh, there was like the bridge where uh, Lake Michigan is like dividing it. And you're like, oh, what if that fucking bust and we're all, you know, we just overflow. Someone told me Free Willy was filmed there and I, I was like an adult and I was like, whoa, like that, that was it. It looked bigger in the movie. In Lake Michigan, yeah. yeah. No, Dana, to answer your question, I think the Stingray exhibit came well after. We I were, do not remember it. Yeah. Because it it's been a while since I've been there. But, well after all of us were yeah. in school, for sure. Good That's air good conditioning time. at the shed. Too. Great air conditioning. Yeah. They always have like that big, it's like a black tie event there in the winter. 
I've always wanted to go to that. Yeah, really, be cool. Yeah. People, there's some nice high schools do their proms there too. Really? Yeah. Wow. Like that's Jones sick. and all that shit. That's Latin. Sick. Yeah, Shot Aquarium. I, I think it's I think it's a solid field trip. You seem you seem melancholy. Yeah, I just I'm I, I was really sad. I really thought I was gonna get Lunchable, and I thought TV Car Lunchable would have been like fucking rock solid, but it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Shot Aquarium is my pick. Dana, you're up. All right, I'm not gonna overthink this. I'm gonna go with my fucking heart. Wall ball, recess game. Wall ball, one of my favorites. I have another couple ones that I was thinking about, but when I think of recess games, I think of wall ball and another one which I will not name, but that's probably my top, one of my top two. It's fun as hell. I, I don't even remember the rules, but you pretty much just try to peg people. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it's fun <laughs> as hell. So a wall ball is my third pick. Anytime you can throw a projectile at one of your buddies, <laughs> it is automatically just an unbelievably awesome game. <laughs> wall ball's awesome. Wall yeah, ball wall ball's great. the best. Yeah. Especially tennis ball, because tennis ball, it you're, won't you're, hurt you, but, but you're, you're, you're leaving a welt. It. Yeah, yeah, you're feeling you're it. The like the super gray balls that were supposed to be baseballs, you know, like you know, oh, it's just a, yeah. those mm -hmm. things will fuck you up. Yeah, <laughs> they're too heavy, right? Yeah. Those will fuck you, especially. Oh, you're and about. you knew you, you don't know what I'm talking about, and especially like you knew someone who could throw hard, and you just got to sit there and just fucking whew. take it. Yeah, <laughs> wall ball is a good one, Dana. Thank you. Yeah, that's that's what I think of when I think of like recess. For some reason, that's some of my fondest memories. And you're just trying to crush people with the ball. It's fantastic when you're a little middle schooler. So I think I got a good, I got a solid lineup right now. I'm happy. You do. I feel good. Right now, you boys. do. Yeah, you do. Dave's very solid too. So I'm interested to see where he goes here at three. I'm going with pizza day for best day. Now it wasn't necessarily a set day, but you get the teacher that all right, everybody bringing five bucks. We're just gonna order a shit ton of pizza on Friday and you look forward to that day and you just stuffed your face full of fucking pizza all day or all period rather just an awesome day it's a good day great day what's wrong I, I think I'm about to win the draft why you don't like pizza day I think pizza day is fine but it's it's can I go yeah what are you wow saying? This is, well, he doesn't even want he's he like fucking want, like, no interest in talking about pizza day we're ready to win the draft he just fucking semi over your pick Dave take it yes yeah, snow day how has snow day got to the third round for best day when you wake up and you it's know true. the snow day you <laughs> yeah. know it's coming the night before everyone's like oh is there gonna be a snow day and you're watching on the little ticker on wgn to see which Shit. school districts are closed and then when you see yours come up and it's closed it is the best day and it's a surprise it's you can't beat a snow day you're the looking for your fucking yeah, district district number. 303 yep. come on down and the fact that Snow Day went in the third round and this fucking guy took the last day before Christmas break with Snow Day on the board, <laughs> unbelievable. Hand up, we fucked yeah. up. I didn't. It was, but knockout, I, is, uh, knockout will hold you back. Oh, I think knockout's great. Well, yeah, I, think, I, I, don't, I don't think knockout will. Uh, your your two, three will definitely translate, but knockout might not. But Snow Day's a home run. Yeah. I don't I know just, how we let it slip, boys. I don't know how we let it slip. That's an unreal pick. I completely it, forgot about it. No, there's nothing. I said, what was I, what did I say? It was really exhilarating earlier. The TV stand. Yeah. There's nothing more exhilarating than seeing your fucking school yep. on the ticker. We oh, it's the best. It's the best. Yeah. Good pick. Yeah. That's a first round pick in the third round. It's a good pick. It's impressive. I, I mean, Pizza Day just got fucking <laughs> well, like that, dummy. Like the Pizza Day. Like the pizza was like, <laughs> yeah, like that was a good day. I feel like my school was always on Friday. And that would be like one of the days I would like negotiate to have like a hot lunch, and uh, but the pizza was never like good pizza. We would get the good pizza. We wouldn't get like Pizza Hut. I remember we get like Rosati's at least and shit. Oh, you, oh no, we would. Okay, then we had a different experience because ours was just like. Are you talking about like the shitty cafeteria? Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm talking like we called and ordered. Like okay. a pizzeria pizza. And oh, got, we didn't do that. We didn't have that. Yeah, our, we would do like home run in, and you would get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. you would call it in like shit. you're normal. Oh, so I was I was thinking it was just like the cafeteria. Oh, fuck pizza. no, that pizza. I mean, I would eat it like every day. Great but, pick, Chief. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I snoozed on it for sure. I, I yep. do not remember. I think it. we all snoozed a little. Yeah. bit. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> Carl, yeah. you're up. I'm actually a little mad. Uh, that's an icon. I'm gonna stay icon lunch item. I'm gonna go Capri Sun. 
I'm going to take chocolate milk head on first round, second overall pick. I'm going to take it head on with a Capri Sun. It's impervious to temperature changes. It's got the unique <laughs> straw. <laughs> it has a thousand different flavors and they all taste the exact same. Yep. So it doesn't matter if it's like surf it, you know, like surf's up strawberry versus like fucking Capri Sun. Cher- like it literally is the exact same. Have you ever seen what Capri Sun looks like out of the bag? Actually, I have. I don't, don't think I want to. Don't look. Swear. And then coming in out of recess. I mean, it just looks like it looks like sugar. It literally... Okay. It's clear, but you can tell it's not water. You can see stuff in there. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's like, why are we putting this in our children? Dude, they used to uh, serve it in like a metallic bottle. What? For like a year or two run. They had like big Capri Suns. It was pretty strange. And then everybody got poisoning or something? I don't know. I don't know. It didn't. must not have made it, clearly. Uh, Did I say something about Capri Suns? Yeah. Do you think they're overrated? No, no. I like them a lot. I have one con for you. The, when the straw mm. doesn't go through the fucking hole or it goes through the bottom, sometimes you can have straw malfunctions with a Capri yeah. Sun. That is true. Sure. It's an occupational hazard for the Capri Sun for sure. And it can be frustrating. That's why it yeah. absolutely goes hand in hand with, you know, school grown up. But that is, I mean, it's a con, but it's like a con that would, it, it's part of the experience, you know? Of having a Capri it Sun, is. knowing that you might completely fuck it up, <laughs> I similar can, to the milk carton. I can picture the small amount of adhesive on the back of a Capri Sun. Oh yeah, yeah, holding yeah. the straw for <laughs> yeah. dear life as yeah. it's coming out of the lunch bag. Yeah, and did he? Sorry, did we say when you don't get the straw? Oh, if the straw oh, that's is knocked bad. off, if you, the straw is yeah. missing, oh, you're just yeah. fucked. At yeah. that moment, so you're like, like, I'll go, pay a call thousand yeah. dollars exactly. for a straw for this little piece of plastic. <laughs> you're just fucked. You got to go ask the teacher for the scissors. Oh, that right. was the worst. That was the worst. Holy shit, Ed. Can't have the fucking straw go missing. But no, that's a that's a fabulous pick. It is an icon. Yeah. It is an iconic drink. Uh, and then I'm going to take recess game. I, I feel like this one's pretty simple. Two-hand touch. This is, in, at least in my life, where, like, the men got separated from the boys on the recess parking lot. Like, it was like, there mm-hmm. was an age, I think it was, like, fifth or sixth grade or something. It was like... Yo, we actually have guys that can throw the football now. We have guys who can run and cut. Like, this is a thing where we're going to start pick. Like, it means something where we're going to pick best teams at recess mm-hmm. and stuff. Um, there's other more playground-friendly games, but it was just like, if you had a football and it was two-hand touch, perfect. Now, obviously, outside of school hours, outside of elementary school, tackle. tackle. Oh, yeah, 100%. Oh, yeah. 100%. Yep. But if you're in, if you're in school, if you're on school property and you're wearing the uniform, you know you're playing by the rules. Well, two, and now if it gets a little rough, you know, fucking Billy pushed me over. But two hand touch. It's basically the only place you play two hand touch. Yeah. And it's still got a gra- the black top. A lot of skin knees playing oh, that. You, yeah. you fall, you get into the gravel yeah. spot, and you just fucking lose your footing. Uh, a classic, obviously, is the guy who would always say he only got hit with one hand. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one hand. No, you got to be one hand. What yeah. about all-time quarterbacks? All-time quarterbacks. Everybody yeah, has that right. guy growing up. Yeah. He's like, I'm going to be an all-time quarterback. Yeah. Uh, one you of my had teammate- to be awesome. You had to Oh, you had to clearly be the absolute best. Yeah. One of my teammates in college, uh, he was a pitcher at Illinois with me, and I got a story. We made fun of him relentlessly for this because I got a story from his friend that was when they were kids and they played two-hand touch. He had a fucking referee jersey and a whistle, and he would play all-time referee. No. Yeah. Wow. And that was like when he was like 11. We didn't let that shit go, dude. We're like 20. We're like, hey, all-time ref, you fucking pussy. (laughs) That's like the kid from Little Giants who fucking drew up the annexation of Puerto Puerto Rico. Rico. Yeah, that's true. I want to be all-time ref. That kid's probably a fucking offensive coordinator in the NFL right now. Yeah. Satisfied? Yeah, it's a great pick. I mean, good pick. Yeah. Chief. Not snow day, but yeah. Let's let's see how you follow it up, Chief. Yeah. Oh, back to me. Yeah. Yeah, this is where it starts to fall apart for me. I think <laughs> I'll go with uh, miscellaneous, and I'll just go with uh, having a substitute. So uh, anytime, like you know, you're not you're just not going to be like a. You could fuck around a little bit. Whatever assignment was due that day doesn't count. Like you don't have to like if you didn't do your homework, you're good. What's this? Is, we, it, is that a day? I don't oh, know. it's miscellaneous. He picked it as miscellaneous. Yeah, okay. miscellaneous. Having so a sub. Having, having a, a substitute, sub, substitute teacher. Substitute yeah. teacher. It's a good pick again. I hate to say it. I, <laughs> we, hate, I hate to say but it. But some subs are bad, right? Or did all, were most uh, subs good? Well, I, well if you well, were the you sub, knew you would take the, advantage. Yeah, but if you were a sub who would give the note to your teacher and would actually give you a bad report, you were fucked. Oh, I don't we, think that ever happened. Oh, we, had, we had, I remember it like it was yesterday, <laughs> yeah, in fifth grade, I had Mrs. Campbell and she was a total Bitch, oh, I couldn't stand her. I know Mrs. Campbell. And 
we had this sub that would sub for us like all the time, all the time. Her name was Miss Waller. I and I don't mean to make fun of her now, but she was so old. I would not be surprised if she's no longer with us. But we uh, would R.I.P. Miss Waller. This lady, Miss Waller, her life hell to the point where she started giving the teacher, and we had her like it felt like a dozen times one year to the point where they threatened to take us away from it was Six Flags trip at the end of the year and like that last time I was like sitting there just eyes forward not saying a word because I didn't want to miss that field trip and David Gertler who was a buddy of mine in fifth grade (laughs) he was still raising hell still raising hell and I was guilty by association to the point where she said I can't go to Six Flags but I talked myself back into being allowed to go to Six Flags because other people had my back and said I was on my best behavior (laughs) Miss Waller shout out David Gertler shout out Miss Waller shout out Miss Campbell (laughs) Shout Everybody out knows the Miss Campbell, though. David oh, yeah. Gertler? Yeah, David Gertler. I wonder what he's doing these days. <laughs> probably, been about, probably in jail. <laughs> I'm 32. It's probably been about 20 years since I've even thought of David Gertler. Your memory recall for people that you went to school with is unbelievable. It's unmatched. I, I, it's unmatched. I, people, it's mostly people I played against in sports. Yeah. I could name everybody I played against in sports. Strong pick, man. One of a Mrs. Brand, Campbell? Dave. That, was my, that was my actual teacher. Mrs. Waller was the substitute. We made her life hell. And she was old oh. as hell, just to be just to clarify. Yeah, we took advantage of the old lady. She was probably 70 back then. Nobody loves name dropping like Dave. I wasn't name dropping, I was just being very specific. It was setting the stage for, yeah. the, for the story. Just ama- I mean, Miss Waller a, just sounds like an old lady guy. substitute yes. teacher. He's not gonna set the stage, who will? All right, White Sox, Dave, you're up. All right, uh, I'm gonna go with field trip and i'm gonna go field museum uh because i feel like that's just the last big one on the board and i needed one uh but it was still fun you got to go see i remember in third grade is when they got the t-rex and my teacher entered all our class yeah into the contest to name the t-rex and we are all super fucking pissed off when we found out the winner because it was another third or fifth grader or whatever that won by naming it sue which is the dumbest fucking name ever we were thinking of all these awesome things like, you know, like Thorax, the murder, and, you know, all these sweet T Rex names. Sue's underrated, by the way. You think so? I think Sue's super underrated. I was so underwhelmed when I saw her as a yeah. kid. The really? story about Sue's like fucking crazy and, and how complete of, it, of a specimen it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, now that I'm like older, I appreciate it. Yeah. But when I was a kid, I was like, ah, that's it. That's a T Rex. Well, that's because you grew up in the Jurassic Park era. Yeah, you were probably, expecting probably, more yeah. ferocity. Yeah, I was expecting like a monster. But what kind of fucking name is Sue for a T Rex? I think it's simple. I like it. I don't like it for a T Rex. Yeah, for a substitute teacher, it'd be perfect. It's got to be one like, syllable. Your name's Sue. If you're I, naming a T Rex, it has to be one syllable. It needs to be something badass. There's a lot better museums. That's my problem with your pick here. We don't want to name them yet. Yeah, yeah. But there are. That's my. But I mean. It's a classic. For, no and there's other it. experience. I thought Dave for sure had like a real horny one. Lined yeah, up. I thought Robert. Who's to say I don't? Sorry. Well, Dana's the only one who doesn't need one. But Robert Crown Center was right <laughs> there like, for you. Come on, man. To scoop and score. Go I at, never went to it for a never field trip. Never went to Robert Crown Center? No, you Oh, my God. That was not a field trip. Dude, that's where you like first learned about like bukkakis. Oh, yeah. It's like that's like where you get the. That's no, it's more, like the uh, uterus fun, and the yeah. vulva. Like they get real deep. What they oh, show yeah. you? Like, I don't have any clue what you're I talking. Have no about. idea. You Robert go Crown in here Center. in sixth grade. Yep, and uh, it's in it's in the western suburbs. Yep, and they so show that's out you by me. in detail. Like I don't know if they show you people having sex, but they show you like what a dick looks like going inside a vagina and like ejaculating. Like, it's in Evanston, blowing Never. sperm. Okay, it's yeah. in Evanston. Yeah, they show you. Yeah, they show you the cervix. They give it. They get all the details. Damn, learn about sex. They don't. If they don't talk about titties, then Dave's out. There, they do. <laughs> there, I, I want to say it was a field museum, but there was like all these. Uh, they're like bronze busts of different tribes in Africa or something, and the, <laughs> the women would have like their their native attire on, and some of the the tribes wouldn't wear shirts, and you could see all the bronze right around the girls' nipples. We're all rubbed out because dudes probably like fucking <laughs> ten year olds like me. We're all rubbing the titties. Maybe I, I, it's in, maybe it's in I, Hinsdale. I thought it was a Western. Yeah, 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 Hinsdale. It looks like they changed the name. I don't know. 
rebrand? When I Googled it, it said Evanston. It says Evanston. Yeah. I never, I had never gone to it's the Robert Crumson. It's not the Candor Crumson. Health Education, but no, it was definitely, yeah. you're right. It was It was not Evanston. Could be worth a trip. Yeah, Robert Crown Center, yeah. Um, all right, Field Machine off the board. Dana, you're up. All right, I got a laundry list of mis- miscellaneous options here, but what I'm going to go with is finding out, finding out, hold on. Find out if like who's in your class, like if your buddies are in your class. That's a great, great day. Awesome. Yeah, that's an awesome. I don't know pick. how to word that. I, I'm trying to figure out how to word it. I don't. That know. was also like Just a last day who, thing, right? We would we would like, have like, ours posted on our front doors of the elementary school. <laughs> Uh, like just pieces of paper taped to the doors with all the class for, for assignments next year. for the next year. Yeah. 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 So this is miscellaneous yeah, like or assignments. like finding out who's in each of, of your classes, just seeing if your buddies are in it. I would say class assignment. I don't know. The schedule, your schedule. Schedule. Yeah. Yeah. Finding out your class schedule. This you're going to basically get, if you're with your boys, you're going to get smoked for that. It's got to be worded in a way that. Yeah, I know. I, that's why I fucked up. I didn't know I should have. Well, it's not it. over. It's yeah. Not. I mean, you just keep thinking through it, pal. Yeah. You're what I wrote words. down on my list is finding out who's in your class. I think it's a good pick. Yeah, but definitely. I, I don't know how to word it for finding out who's in your class. Might fit. It might not fit. I'll put that out. I'll put that down, though. Yeah. Finding that's out what who's I have your, on my list. I think the people who class, listen will appreciate yeah. the graphic people. But it was, I mean, that's a great day or that's a horrible day. Yeah, yeah. it could be, it could be. Well, I mean, you, you could know. also find it because there's always like that day, like you always know the, the teachers above you and you're always like, I hope I don't have Miss yeah. Campbell or whoever yeah. it but is. But then so. if, if you ever got fucked though, where you're not in the class with any of your friends. Yeah, there were six yeah. of us that were like the really best friends growing up as kids. And then going into eighth grade, I found out five in one class with Mrs. Pacetti, me on myself with Mrs. Model Pass, and it was the worst day of my life. Dude, it honestly, people don't talk enough. That like and then those guys get closer. And oh, then they're, they're just, the best thickest thieves doing everything together. Yes. And they're like, what are you doing? I was like, oh dude, yeah, I got fucked in fifth grade too. That's 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 a bad day if you get screwed. But it did open my horizons. Like it it a lot like I do remember being like, I guess I gotta be friends with other people now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's a good pick, though. It's a, it's a strong Sad. pick. Yep. I wish I didn't jumble my words, but yeah. you know what I mean. And that's your miscellaneous, to be clear, right? Yes, sir. I got, right. uh, I got my right. yeah. I got a field trip left. All right. I need. Uh, it's to me. I need two picks. I need recess game, and I need lunch item. Um, you know, oddly enough, we did lunch item before, or we did like snack item before, and I like this was a very popular one, and it's. I took it. I think Chief took it too. It's it's my favorite. I gotta go fruit by the foot. Yeah. Shit, that was gonna be my next one. Yeah, there's plenty of better ones. That pick stinks. Ed, your draft's awful, man. <laughs> Hate to break it to you. <laughs> Coming from you, Pizza Day and Field Museum. What, you started that? up. Oh. You started off so hot. Pizza in your Day. Last two. Well, Field Museum sucks, Dave. The Field Museum is awesome. The Museum of Science and Industry beats the fuck out of yeah. it every day and twice on Sunday. I don't think so. How much better? Honestly, how honestly, much not close. I don't know if I've ever been to the Chief. Museum how much of better Science is Museum of Science and Industry? Way better. Way better. I don't know if I've ever been to it. It's like, awesome. It's, it's, it's awesome. Field trip like, or I otherwise. Field Museum, the Museum of Science and Industry, especially as a kid. Yes. It, it's a whole different class. Once again, if Dave, <laughs> if you're on the opposite side of Dave, you're in a good spot. So thank you for telling me it stinks. You're what about Nate? Doesn't it doesn't stink. Sucks. I didn't say it stinks. I like the I, Field not, Museum. It, yeah, no, no, no. It's what, the Field Museum? I like the Field Museum. I enjoy the Field Museum. It's not as good as Science and Industry. I don't know if I've ever been to the Museum of Sci- Science and Industry ever. It's still fun. And I'm sure it is. I'm sure a lot of these places it'd still be fun. I haven't uh, been to the probably it's probably been 10, 12 years since I've been to the fucking Art Institute or not Art Institute, the shed. Art Institute's probably the worst. Come and on. I did that like two years ago. <laughs> Come on. Art Institute's nice. No, I, air, it's got great air conditioning. Yeah, I'll give it that's that. that's nice. The air conditioning. Yeah. Is nice. Speaking of air conditioning, it's fucking hot in here today. Oh, don't tell that to anybody. Go here. find Danny. Don't say it's too that fucking cold. Fucking twink. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we got to. <laughs> Fruit by the what foot. Fruit by the foot. It's a good Wait. pick. Good pick. Is it actually a foot long? Does every does uh, everybody no, think it's by three the foot? Long. Wait, so just to be clear, you don't like fruit by the foot? No, I don't. I never did. I don't, I don't like know. sweet. I don't like Do you sweet. He doesn't, fruit by like, the foot? he doesn't like sweet candy. Yeah, I don't yeah, like sweet. Yeah, I mean, candy. I won't turn a fruit by the foot down, but I think there's other like there's other players you at the table gushers? that I might you know, can yeah. we Oh I do still need Do we have all right my final one, I need a game 
There's really not a ton of loft yeah, there either. Is. There's a staple. <laughs> there's one very, very, what? very easy one to pick. There's probably a first round on it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but do I want that? I don't know if I want it. I don't Are even, you fucking I don't kidding know me? If, I don't know if you know what, what we're talking about. Your draft is so bad that we oh. might, we're all on the same page. I don't think you know And what it's we're like about. you of all people, too. I got to get up and leave the room, man. Wait, why? Eddie, here's the thing. Eddie, I look up to you, okay? I look up to you as a host and as, as a commissioner or whatever you want to call it. This is a poor show. It's, it's Nick <laughs> I, I, I readily admit it. So what, what about readily, all these guys who say your draft stinks? I readily admitted that after TV cart, I wanted Lunchable or last day of school that I was in trouble. Well, don't go on. Tilt, stay strong. There's one chance for you to get votes to save to save your draft. What? It's it, fucking tag, isn't it? Yeah. No. <laughs> I mean, tag. God, no. God, yeah, no. Absolutely not. I wasn't. I wasn't Whoa. Gonna, my, right, I'm taking my pick, what I was going to say. Good. Let's capture the flag. Wow. Does everybody have a game? Yeah. I had that I had that on my list. I think it's absolutely preposterous. Do you want to say it on the count of three? One, two, three. Kickball. Kickball. Oh, you're saying that because uh Because it's just a fucking great game and you blew it. Capture the flag was better. No. I absolutely. like Capture wow. the Flag. Dave's on my side here. And what did you just say? Electric. What did you just what? say not five minutes ago? If you're on the opposite side of White Sox, Dave, you're doing pretty good. <laughs> I did say that. Yeah. I Dude, like Capture the Flag though. Capture the flag so much better. Capture the flag is elite. An elite game. It's an. I it's, think so. Capture the flag. I would say is better than kickball for sure. No way. Absolutely not. Especially like capture the flag was also like astronomically better in your neighborhood too than it was at school. If you had a big lot and you could, you know, a big was, field. Yeah. I'm like troubled that nice you just glossed team. over kickball because we, it's integral to your history. I, no, I know. I, I think that's why because that's how I'm pretty much working here right now because of kickball. Mm -hmm. But I also do – that's one of those same with dodgeball. In my brain, it's like more integrated with gym class. Okay. We, Fair enough. So I didn't think about it. We had this thing at the end of like third and fourth grade where they would have like the, all, the kickball all-stars and the third and fourth grade would play against each other and then – if whoever won played the teachers and our third grade class was the only time that we ever beat the, the third grade ever beat fourth grade. It was a big day. It's a big day. Yeah. That's hard to do. Yeah. And for anybody who's watching this or listening, it's like, I have no idea what Carl's talking about very quickly. Eddie went to the Greg Olson charity kickball tournament in 2013. Dave Portnoy was pitching for team Barstool. He got ejected from the game. Eddie was standing there on the sidelines alone watching the game and was like hey come in and pitch for me and that's how you guys got introduced and dave that's white how it started yeah, that's how it all started and dave uh he was wearing full blackhawks gear yeah he was wearing a patrick kane yeah. uniform yeah all no, time you're story. right there's some there's some history there but i, 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 I can't just, believe that you passed on i told you why i told you why i just classification yes it's to me it was more of an in, indoor um all right dana you're up all right does anyone else need a uh, a field trip, or is it just me? I think it's just you. Just you, yeah. All right, so I'm free to talk about this. Um, I don't know. I, when I think of field trips, like, I hated going to the science museum. I hated going to the fucking fish hatchery. What I did have a fond memory of was the zoo. You go to the zoo, and you see the animals. <laughs> Write me down for my last pick is the zoo. Uh, we we it, did Brookfield Zoo. Yeah, we did Brookfield. Given that it's the last round, I think it's a fine pick. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't have much. That's my that's my weakest list by far. I really it fucking sucks to be honest with you. I got nothing else. We didn't do anything fun. Like we used to, it was all educational stuff. We'd go to like a cranberry bog, and it was just boring as hell. So the zoo was was fun for me. That's I'm going with my heart, and it's the zoo. Yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah. Find that Patrick Rassy lunch there. Mm -hmm. Go to the amphibian fucking mm -hmm. indoors. I like a zoo. I don't like Omaha's zoos. a nice zoo. Brookfield's great, except I went to the the Lincoln Park Zoo. Was it open last summer? I feel like this was last summer. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It was recently, and it's fucking depressing. It, uh, yeah, it is. Like you see the like the very very what seems like they're mal malnourished polar bears in like 90 degree weather lions the fucking the silverback apes in these rooms that are much bigger than this podcast Smells studio nasty in there it's it's, oh, it's kind of depressing but it's still a class trip i'd rather those animals suffer suffer for my pleasure getting out of school if that makes sense <laughs> okay. all right white Sox, dave you're up 
Uh, I'm going to go with having a hot teacher for my miscellaneous pick. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I'd be able to get it fifth round. I mean, everybody had that, that first teacher where you walked in, you're like, wow, her tits are so perky. They sit like nice and high, like a gargoyle perched on a ledge. And you're just, fucker. I mean, you're just like, that's when you know. Do you that. want to shout anybody out? In uh, I, I just looked her up, my first hot teacher, and she's still trucking. She still looks good. Dude. Dave, um, I had a I had a music teacher in middle school who had cannons, and I looked her up recently. She still got it, like exactly. She's fucking hot as hell. Would you hit on her if you saw her in public right now? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I just pull up my hot teacher. I'm trying to do the same. We exactly see. <laughs> it's very related. Oh, she still fucking has it too. This was, but we were my hot teacher. I was like, I was a freshman in high school. I should send her a message. Probably not. Oh, mine was mine Dave. was uh, third slash fourth. She helped out fourth a little bit too, and then another one in in middle school. Once like you're actually developing physically, and they're both just fucking rockets. Dave, the I take middle back school everything bitch, I said. This, this is a great pick by you. It's oh. it's it's not just a shtick pick either. Like, oh yeah, it's it's a legitimate. Pick. It's a legitimate pick. Uh huh. That's a good way to round it out, Dave. I like your voice. I can't find her. It is. I'm trying to remember my middle school. She was a total bitch. Everybody hated her, but she was fucking smoking hot. How long have you had that gargoyle line in your pocket? It's from Seinfeld. I still. <laughs> okay, I had to know. Yeah, and it's not. It, I had it, to it's, know. You're so fucking ridiculous. I, don't, I mean, it, it's not ridiculous. It's uh, it's an uh, integral part of the back to school experience. Like you walk into that third period class and you're like, "Holy shit!" Her tits are about to fall out of her shirt, and you're thinking that to yourself. And then you sure. got to do the Texas Tuck because you can't control yourself. <laughs> This is true. You know, growing up. It's true. Right. What's Chief, funny? You're up. No, I, you're funny. All right. Like I'm, I'm a uh, clown? The only, like yeah. I amuse you? Yeah. The only thing I funny have left enough. is um, food. And like I said, like I was. Do it, Chief. What? Take what you took in the, uh, the draft. <laughs> this was the first. Do you remember this by chance, Dana? Take what you took that everyone. This was, a, this was before Barada was a thing. This was the first pick you had that everyone was like, "Where? The, what planet is this guy from?" <laughs> I don't remember. Do you remember? Can you say it? Uh, you took yeah. applesauce. Oh. Applesauce. Do you remember that? I do remember that. <laughs> I mean, I do like applesauce. I bought some the other day. Thank you, Chief. <laughs> um, do it. Chief, I have applesauce on my list. <laughs> I mean, applesauce is great. It's not what I was going to take, though. I know. Well, take what I'm just giving you shit. Oh, man, but I do. I just hadn't occurred to me. Now I got to figure out which one I like better. I, I'm going tater tots. I'm, like that was like a hot lunch. Um, <laughs> Dave's wh face. What? What's the problem, Dave? I mean that. <clears throat> you don't like tater tots? Uh, no, I eat tater tots to this day. Yeah, but I get them at is, Declan's all the time. They're excellent at Declan's, mm -hmm. but that like is an awful, awful pick with respect <laughs> to what the draft topic is. I feel like that. I would is, agree with Dave. Why? Just because I don't. I don't know. You're agreeing with I Dave never, a lot today. Ever would put that in like a hot lunch? Yeah. I see, like, when I think of sides on a hot lunch, like, that's the first one that comes to my mind. This is all experience, I think. Yeah. I, it's, it, like, yeah, it's, was, I mean, maybe it's – we just didn't I have I feel like them, the, the only places I've had tater tots are at, at bars as an adult and then school. Where else would you have them? I don't know. You make them at that, home? Like, then how is it not a school lunch pick? Because, like, I, I don't know. I just don't think it has – like you, they might be served at an elementary school, but so is like you can get a can of Coke. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think it's a brutal pick, and that's on the heels of having a few awesome picks. Dana, Carl, are you with us or are you with Chief? Uh, I, I never really got into tater tots growing up. I like them now, but I think it's a horrendous pick. Wow. <laughs> well, I love tater tots. and that, But I, I, I don't know. No, I, like I, I put I away a lot of tater enjoy. tots in school. Maybe it was just my school that didn't have them, but you I guys didn't have them at all. I don't. Not that I recall. We I might have. More you guys brown also, bag. What? I used to think more brown bag. You know what I mean? Yeah, there, yeah. You could, well, like that was the thing. If it was, was a hot like, lunch, I didn't. We didn't do hot lunch. Did you do hot lunch? No, I you, would do it like one day a week. Okay, yeah. Carl's got his. Like you, I was thinking like everything. Like I would have taken little Debbie snacks. See, we didn't. We, my mom would never get those, but she oh, would get we us. Would have she to would. Get them she would get us fruit by the foot. 
but she wouldn't get us those. So I don't know how that makes sense. Okay, but. well, we're here. So let's talk about this for a second. Yeah. I actually thought I almost went banana. I think banana would have played very strongly on the graphic. Who doesn't love a banana? In a I bag? actually don't love bananas. I like bananas. <laughs> I uh, think that would have absolutely been a better pick. Than yeah, again, tater tots, I think it's a hot lunch staple for an elementary school, and I think it has a place in the conversation. I think Dave's overreacting here. Uh, is It's not like the brown bag thing, though, but like yeah. to Chief's point, he's not a, he wasn't like a brown bag no, little I, Debbie guy. I was. Like, I was a brown bag guy, but it would be like everything would be like homemade. Yeah, so you're like not I, taking like yeah. a ham sandwich here, are you? Would you eat lunch meat? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would have like my mom would like make the bread, like the whole house smelled of bread. And then she would like make everything like, and it was delicious. But then like one day a week, like I would always feel like left out that I wasn't doing the hot lunch. So I would do it one day a week and I feel like I would get a lot of tater tots. All right, Carl, Mr. Irrelevant. Um, all right, I have miscellaneous and I am gonna take, I'm gonna take a staple and pretty much all young men's lives who were in elementary school from like 91 to 2003. I'm going to take killing more than you can carry an Oregon trail. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, you know what? I think you should just dumb it down to Oregon trail, but nevertheless, well, that's, that's the last it. pick, like, right? That, yeah, I mean, you just like you oh, go yeah. hunting. It's like you're playing Oregon Trail. You ford like, that fucking river. It doesn't like, matter if it's 30 feet deep, and you right. know that you're all gonna kill your oxen. And oh, what a great game! <laughs> what I would, would you love like to play that right now? Buffalo, load Dave, up all the can. debt. Didn't I get roasted for taking Oregon Trail at one point in this show? I don't. Yeah, no. but it was like out of pocket. Like this was this actually applies. I feel. Did you guys ever play the Zumbinis? I don't know what that is. It was, it was, it was uh, hey, uh, a computer. What's that game. one with the, with the hot girl, Dave, uh, on the front? Where in the world is something? Carmen San Diego. Diego. Yeah. yeah, she was a little yeah, she was a minx. She was a rocket, huh? <laughs> yeah, she was. <laughs> so I got okay. a thing for redheads. Oregon I remember her having red hair. Yeah, so I don't know. I like computer class to me. It was like take it or leave it. You know, I did appreciate the fact they taught us how to type at a young age, like whether or not you want to admit it. That was actually a helpful skill that was instituted in us in elementary school. But other than that, computer class, you're just sitting around like little chips challenge here, you know, some solitaire minesweeper, Mm -hmm, some educational games. But like when you got to do free computer, you wander over to Oregon Trail. It's just basically when can you kill all these buffalo? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Oregon Trail is a great Mr. Relevant for sure. Love Oregon. Here's the list. Then we'll uh, do it on real mentions that we got to get out of here. Uh, Eddie, TV cart, last day before winter break. Shit aquarium, fruit by the foot, capture the flag. Dana, chocolate milk, last day of school, wall ball, finding out who's in your class, zoo. White Sox, Dave, dodgeball, lunchable, pizza day, field museum, having a hot teacher. Chief, knockout, six flags, snow day, having a substitute teacher, tater tots. Carl, first sick day, medieval times. Capri Sun, two hand touch football, Oregon Trail. <laughs> I'm laughing at tater tots. <laughs> I'm laughing On at Oregon tater. Trail. <laughs> You're laughing Kevin, at tater tots? Kevin tater tots wrote. are great. Why is that funny? They're, they're great, but not for this. Out of place. Fucking t- yeah. Out of place. yeah, I don't think I think they that's are. the worst pick of the draft by far and away. By far and away. And you had the best one with Snow Day. Like they cancel each other out. Dunkaroos. You could have gone oh, yeah. fucking PB and J, French toast sticks, any of that. Jeez. Any I, yeah, I don't yeah, think PB French, and I see French see toast sticks French, are legit. French toast sticks and tater tots to me are like, those are the same. Like those are like hot lunch things. Like how can you say tater tots is bad and French toast sticks is the same? Any ones we didn't get to? I loved having a hot teacher. Okay, here, I'll run through mine very quickly. Miscellaneous. When you got your AOL or AIM screen name and you were walking around lunch the next day and you were like handing it out up and like yeah. that, mm-hmm. that was a Add fucking me. concern yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah. Tamagotchi's miscellaneous. I, you were just sitting there yep. trying to take care of a pet in your pocket. Texas instrument calculators. Yep. Although that was more oh, high school yeah. than it was elementary. If you did a high school draft, that's a first round for me. A field trip bozo show. Bozo. Never did that. The bozo show. And then the last miscellaneous I have is the number... See if anybody gets his, uh, the number 80,085. Boobs. Boobs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like it. That's a good miscellaneous. I like 80,085. Uh, on the Oregon Trail, I think you could probably still Google it, but KFC wrote a blog on how you can – there's there's this website where you can play, like, all yeah. those classic games. Mm-hmm. And he picked, like, him, Big Cat, Portnoy, Flettelberg, whoever else. This was years ago. And they – went on the Oregon Trail and like Portnoy died of exhaustion and he was complaining the whole time like in the game. It's one of the funniest blogs ever written on Barcel, I think. But um what a fucking great game. I would I want to play that like right now. You can. I'm you going can. to. Yeah. Dana, you got any honorable, a, honorable mentions? Yeah. I, 
I, so one of my main questions, and I, I was thinking about drafting this. Do you guys ever play the game where you throw the ball up in the air and you yell like 500? Yeah, 500. 500. 500, it flies that, up. That's yeah. a hell of a game that Great nobody game. really talks about. Anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that, that, that's good. We used to do that with a vortex um, too in like third Yeah, grade. it's a great game. Yeah. I got a couple. So, uh, the smelly markers, mm-hmm. um, the handheld sharpeners, the yep. fucking huge things of crayons when you would like compete with people to see who had more crayons, like <laughs> crayons, however you want to say it. The 64 uh, box. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, some of the dudes had 100. The rich kids had 128. Yeah, um, yeah and the and, poor kids had Rose Art. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you were like have, afraid to show your face. Penis and... game written down. Penis game was written down. And then just like <laughs> fucking around with your boys on the bus. Like in the, yep. in the back of the Sitting bus. Sitting in the back of the out. bus. Yeah. 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 I would say I, I actually like High C better than Capri Sun because of the straw factor. It always drove me crazy. I feel like I always got fucked on that, so I liked high C. The Ecto Cooler was yeah. big time, too. Yeah, Ecto had, Cooler had was slime great. Slimer on yep. it. <laughs> um, the, uh, the game Heads Up 7-Up. That was fun. Oh, that's yeah. fucking classic. Yeah, Heads classic. Up 7-Up was great. I think that's probably all I have for... Heads Up 7-Up uh, should have been a first-rounder. Yeah. Miscellaneous Gym Class was sitting there, too. Yeah. Like yeah, that. but Gym Class, like, once you... Gym Class was great until, like, fifth grade. And we had recess activity. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I, didn't, I felt like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, we're out been, there and being yeah, active. To, uh, yeah. Do they still have Gym yeah. Class? I feel like that, sh- that would have been something that gets canceled, right? Gym? Yeah, because... Yeah, it's like, well, it's, you know, it's, my daughter sucks. Yeah, yeah probably. Know. Wouldn't but, shock me. But it's also like, wow, we have, you know... We have to keep these kids active. Yeah. Because we're pumping them with sugar all day. So Yeah, I'm so sure the teachers are like run yeah. those kids to yeah. the fucking ground. <laughs> Pacer test. I like Foursquare too. Yeah, Foursquare is on the list. Should have got that more playing fun. time. Yeah, it was fun. What about yeah, you couldn't do okay. parachute or if I heard parachute, I would have walked Wait, what out. was parachute again? Oh, parachute. <laughs> That's gym class. Yeah. Yeah. Was That's not recess. Yeah, what about right, field right. day? We had field day. That's Once a great day. Yeah, yeah, it was fun good. fair day, we called it. Yeah, but it was like that was fun. Yeah, you just play it was a day long gym class. Yeah. All right, Dana. Dana B. Thank you. Good showing, Dana B. Thank you, boys. I love you. Thanks for having me, Coach Prime. August 29th. Uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Awesome. Perfect. Looking forward to. We that. should have. We should have <coughs> Coach Prime on one of these. I, he's on my list. I don't know if he'll ever do it. Though. Would he do it? You think, Dana? I think if you pitch it to him the right way, yeah. Okay. <laughs> In person, he's Back. on my list. I have mom, but I'm just like, eh. But what do you mean? No, he would be good. Be, and, like, I don't know if he would want to do it. That's my problem. No. I yeah, think I think he would want to do it. It's just there's a lot of there's a lot of rules that he that we, you'd have to explain. That that's kind of the, that's the tough part. Okay. All right. All right, Dana. Thank you. Good luck. Go watch the doc. Comes out August what? Sorry. August 29th, Sunday. Six. Uh, there's six episodes. One every night. Two the last night. That I, whole week. I mean this genuinely. I'm very excited for this doc. Yeah, it's gonna it's be awesome. It's fucking awesome. It's like some of the, it's probably the most well-produced thing we've ever put out at Barstool, so it, pumped. Now, it's Thursday. Is the narrator's name going to be dropped by Monday or no? That was going to be my next question. Uh, too. Do you want to drop it now? <laughs> Tell I, I don't even it? know who you're talking about. I know so who it is, and it lives up to the hype. Can was, you actually move it out? Was, I don't, don't want to say it. All right, yeah. To, to Probably the for the best. All right, it, well, let's end the show, and then you can tell us after the show's over, right? Yeah. 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 <gasps> did we do ads? All right, hold Yeah, we did. We did. All right. Okay. All right. All right, that's it, everybody. Thank you for listening. That's it for today. We'll see you tomorrow.